Namaste everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk of special conditions about the seventh lot. So when you do marriage analysis, either it is a normal planet, which indicates a normal result, right? A normal life that everyone is having. So you and your spouse technically comes from the same background and the marital life is normal. Like it is for every human being. Right? So you love each other. You care for each other. Sometime occasionally fight also. You know, what, we, what I call a standard marriage, good looking marriage. How normal it is. But on the other hand, there are some special cases. This is for the analysis of any house. So normal condition, what I will say, seventh lot situated in friendly Rashi, seventh lot situated in inimical Rashi is a normal condition. So this is a normal condition, marriage. Coming of special condition. I will start from the back door. I will start from reverse. Worst condition first. Debilitated seventh lot. Now see, what is debilitation? This exaltation, debilitation, these things, own Rashi, etc. This is called sthanable. Technically, in Vedic astrology, it should be told as sthanable. Sthanable means what? Positional strength. Literally meaning, you do something, you, know, you are employee in an office, in your profession, in your marriage, you and your spouse, partner, girlfriend, fiance, whatever, is having a position. Now this is thunble. <clears throat> thunble means that particular position is niche, inferior, lower. This is how debilitation of seventh lord in is what this is like an inferior condition in front of the spouse. So basically as a good side, what you can say, the spouse comes from good family background. The spouse is more intellectual, the spouse is more understanding, the spouse is more mature, have a better financial background, better professional life and all of that. Now you see, there are always two, three types of people. One will be very happy that my spouse is having a good professional life. I should support her, support him. Another will be on the other way around. That why my spouse is having a better professional life. Why she is, he is earning more. Why I am not earning more competitive mindset. This depends on the ascendant. If the ascendant is influenced by a good planet, this you have to understand. This is surprisingly very opposite. But this is true to my experience and any astrologer who have experience of predicting through horoscopes will have the same experience because truth is one. If the ascendant is dominated by malefic planets, Sun, Mars, Rahu, Ketu, or if the ascendant is a malefic sign, in that scenario, person is humble. They don't have jealousy with their spouse. Even I will say Venusian Ascendant also. In Venusian Ascendant also, person generally don't hate their spouse. But when good planet influences the Ascendant, situated in the Ascendant, respecting the Ascendant, Venus, Moon, Mercury, Jupiter. Specifically Venus, Mercury and Moon. When they are influencing the Ascendant, in such cases, person can be jealous of their own spouse. Why they are earning more? why they have a better life than ourselves, etc. This approach is bad. So the debilitation of the seventh lord, whether it will be good or whether it will not be good, is dependent on this particular fact that how the ascendant is disposed. Good disposition of the ascendant will be good. Bad disposition of the ascendant can turn it bad, as I have just told you. So this is a good point. Now, secondarily, what happens when you read astrological classics, this is found through experience also. 
because you are having an inferior position as compared to spouse see this may not be literally inferior as as well but you say spouse is more beautiful spouse is more attractive you are not that much so a complexion a competitive aspect it can give but other than that it is also told that happiness is curtailed you know worry tension debilitation also gives you so when the seventh lord is debilitated one is very much worried one is very much tensed about their spouse as well this can mean two three things the spouse can be more beautiful more attractive can be attracting a lot of people hence the person can be insecure one secondarily the spouse can have health issues etc in this particular scenario also the person can be worried right so these are the two things worried because they think that you know the spouse may go somewhere else this happens when the seventh lord which is debilitated and the seventh house which indicates marriage is influenced by good planets in that scenario it is insecurity that is creating worry if the seventh house and seventh lord is influenced by malefics while being debilitated in that particular scenario the it is tension it is anxiety related to the health and other well beings of the spouse this is what the debilitation generally does another thing what i have seen in matters of debilitation i always say debilitation is divided by 3 so generally in such cases what happens now see this is not multiplied by 3 it is divided by 3 so generally when there is proper affliction to seventh house and this planet this debilitated seventh lord as well of course debilitation in itself is a affliction in that scenario there are chances of more than one marriage but the difference between exaltation and debilitation is in the case of exaltation it is multiplied by 3 you are the one who is going into multiple relationships because you are unhappy of your spouse this is exaltation case in the case of debilitation your spouse may unhappy from you may be unhappy from you will be unhappy from you and will leave you desert you and then you will be forced to go for a second marriage or mis happenings with spouse is also indicated which leads to an abrupt end of marriage so multiple relationships more than one marriage is also indicated by the debilitated seventh lord but remember this bad result will only come to pass when the previously told results are not coming to pass so generally if the seventh lord is debilitated and marital life is going all good then it is a sure shot indication of more than one marriage that will happen generally in such cases when the seventh lord who is debilitated is also good in navamsha in that particular scenario what happens though there is separation from spouse death etc of spouse that is happening leaving the native to live alone for period of time for their lives but because the planet is good in navamsha this generally happens in old age you say spouse dies when the native is 70 and native lives up to the age of 90 so the last 20 years of life they have to live alone without spouse <clears throat> but this is happening in old age where this is not much of a problem because it is in good navamsha so this is how the differentiation should be made right in the case of debilitation other than that what i have practically seen in the case of debilitation now see in the matters of marriage by heart body mind soul you people are attached to each other husband is the first guru of the wife wife is the most closest minister of the husband wife is worth worshiping husband is worth respecting so the marriage is a relationship of mutual decisions love towards each other and all of that but generally in the cases of debilitated seventh lord what i have seen that the spouse and the native have different lives altogether so it can be a good marriage also that depends on the position of the seventh lord in navamsha chart which is to be seen for the inherent strength and weakness of planet 
but generally what happens when the seventh lord is debilitated the spouse and the native may can will be married they will have children both will participate in the matters of home that is there but other than that they will have their separate likes and dislikes husband will have his own spiritual life in which own spiritual life own belief own spiritual practices in which he will not include his wife he will have his own set of friends his own set of professional life which he will not share with his wife which he will not discuss with his wife right this also happens when a debilitated planet is conjoined with seventh lord or a debilitated planet is situated in the seventh so generally this relationship of mutually sharing with each other living life together generally converts into two people having two separate lives just living in same home not discussing things with each other is what i have practically seen so there are some good sides to it also there are some bad sides to it as well we will have to understand it and set our expectations right this is the first remedy that we can do in these scenarios in these matters now next thing is the combust seventh lord now the next point is combustion so when a planet is certain degrees away from sun the planet is combust so moon when 12 degrees away from sun will be combust so 12 degree before sun 12 degree after sun total of 24 degrees moon will be combust mars is combust under 17 degrees of sun 17 degrees before 17 degrees after direct mercury is retrograde within 14 degrees from sun retrograde mercury is combust within 12 degrees of sun jupiter is combust within 11 degrees from sun direct venus is combust within 8 degrees from sun retrograde venus is combust within 10 degrees of sun and saturn is combust within 15 degrees of sun now this combustion is irrespective of rashi planet can be in another rashi sun can be in another rashi but the combustion will still be there so combustion crosses the boundaries of rashi this you have to keep in mind another thing what you have to understand is this is a going combustion or planet coming out of combustion so basically for fast moving planets moon venus mercury what happens if they are behind sun it is a growing combustion right they have started combusting then they will meet sun they will be fully combust then they will be recovering from combustion that is point one secondarily for slower planets saturn jupiter mars sun is behind them sun have started combusting them sun will go and meet the planet it will make him them completely combust then sun will go farther than that planet they will be coming out of combustion so the planet going into deeper combustion is a worst scenario is a bad scenario where the results of combustion are there for a lifetime whereas the planet coming out of combustion generally indicates more problems when the native is young and eradication of problems as the time passes by combustion take simple word from my side humiliation any planet who is combust that humiliates you so when the seventh lord is combust relationship are humiliations person will get humiliated because of their spouse because of what their spouse have done what their spouse have committed or because of relationship with other women they can be humiliated in front of spouse in front of the family of spouse in front of society so combustion basically gives you humiliation that is point number 1 secondarily what happens with combust planet see sun is the brightest star not a planet star every planet gets light from sun and they shine but when the when the planet is combust he is so close to sun that when you look in the sky you will not be able to find the planet the rising and the setting of the planet will happen with sun only so basically what is happening the sun have overshadowed the planet you cannot see the planet which is taken as the rays of the planet are not reaching earth so in that particular scenario what is happening if the seventh lord is combust the happiness of marriage the things that you expect out of marriage are not reaching you 
so your spouse may be loving you a lot but somehow you are not feeling that love they are not able to make you feel how much they love you or due to this due to circumstances or due to situations you people are not able to enjoy together this is the problem that it creates along with humiliation that it is already creating other than this combustion is also bad for health issues and generally when the seventh lord is combust the spouse will be suffering from much health issues or you will be suffering health issues in the matters of sexual affairs so sexual diseases will be there which will stop or which will greatly restrict the enjoyment of the bliss of marital life another thing is when combustion happens there is a sense of misfortune that prevails in those matters you see today you got off from your office quite early so you decided that okay today was half day in my office so i will go to my home and will take my wife for a dinner outside somewhere this is a very good plan now if the seventh lord is combust so despite having an half day in office your boss or your senior will give you some extra work you will get delayed while transiting to your home there will be some fight etc in between which will spoil your mood or when you will reach home you will find that your wife is having a little bit of cough or cold or somehow in you will be able to enjoy no matter how hard you will want to do it few things which are not in your control will come to fore and will disturb the enjoyment this is what happens with combustion so it is a like it is quite some bad result with respect to seventh house which have to be very carefully judged after debilitation and combustion comes the next position seventh lord in his own rashi seventh lord in his own rashi is a good condition the first point planet in own rashi is multiplied by 2 two, two results so basically in this scenario what happens more than one marriage is there now more than one marriage only happens when the seventh house or the seventh lord is having influence of fiery planets mars sun ketu or it is afflicted by malefics because for more than one marriage to happen there can be two things first divorce then second marriage in this particular scenario because the planet is in own rashi you are giving the divorce right but this divorce will happen you will be giving the divorce only when the seventh house or seventh lord is influenced by malefic planets if it is not influenced by malefic planets it is only influenced by benefic planets in that scenario what happens the person have a concubine or a girlfriend or boyfriend or an affair outside of marriage that results in two marriages for this to definitely see you also have to check the position of the eighth lord which indicates divorce if eighth lord is positively placed if eighth lord is well placed there is no divorce but because seventh lord is in own rashi it indicates multiplied by 2 so there will be relationships affairs etc in the case of affliction of seventh house and seventh lord while the seventh lord is in own rashi it will indicate you giving divorce to the spouse and getting married again in those scenario where the eighth lord is good also but the seventh house and seventh lord is not influenced by malefics in that scenario multiplied by 2 from the seventh lord indicates one marriage and one very strong affair which was akin to marriage before marriage what do i mean akin to marriage two people being in relationship for more than one year while being mentally physically socially emotionally financially involved with each other is a relationship akin to marriage this is how this should be predicted other than that planet in own rashi is a good combination this gives you a lot of happiness so in this particular scenario complete happiness of marital life experiencing the love care desire from the spouse going out together having some fun time together chilling together right 
getting proper time to care about each other and spend with each other you will be getting happiness of marital life you will be enjoying to great extent that's not an issue other than this what will happen the spouse will also have when the seventh lord is in own rashi spouse is equivalent to you right a spouse is equivalent to you in that what does it mean you and your spouse comes from almost the same financial background and if you don't come from the same financial background that's not an issue after spa after marriage a spouse meets up to your standard they have a good professional life they have a good financial backup they have a good financial status as well and because it is an own rashi the love etc is very good own rashi in the matters of love care i consider it better than exaltation because own is atmiyata you know the same family member type stuff so this is a relationship which is thicker than blood right ek dooje ke liye type you know completely dedicated devoted to each other this is the relationship along with this when the seventh lord is in the is in his own rashi you and your spouse help support each other in every matters you share everything with each other and get benefited by the input of the spouse greatly that should be done next is the seventh lord being exalted so seventh lord being exalted is multiplied by 3 it indicates three marriages or three relationships the condition will be the same seventh lord exalted seventh lord retrograde both is multiplied by 3 while the eighth lord is in a bad condition and the seventh house and seventh lord are also having malefic influence it will be one marriage marriage is not good you give divorce second marriage it is not good you give divorce third marriage in that particular scenario where eighth lord is in good condition but the seventh house and seventh lord are influenced by malefics in that scenario person will have one marriage one affair before marriage and one affair alongside marriage or one marriage two affairs alongside marriage right so it is to be understood in the same way how you have understood the planet in own rashi this is the major result for seventh lord exalted other than that in the case of an exalted seventh lord after marriage the person progresses a lot after marriage the financial social status of the native is greatly increased the spouse is very fortunate and with the help of spouse person achieves new and new heights every day in their life but as they are having multiple relationships they are ungrateful towards their spouse as well this can be easily estimated this can be easily assessed this can be easily told because of your spouse you will also get praises in the society from your friends etc and if you work according to your spouse there will be great increase in luck and fortune in your life not only that in the case where the seventh lord is exalted your spouse will be your savior in the times of distress and you are married with a spouse who at the time of distress can completely take over your work this is the case where i say that even if you are not able to do what you do you don't have to worry because your spouse is capable enough to do it with the same capacity and with the same excellence like you this is what happens when the seventh lord is exalted lastly retrograde seventh lord so once again retrograde seventh lord is also multiplied by 3 so it indicates more than one marriage one marriage two affairs or two relationships before marriage and one marriage complete dedication to marriage and the differentiation between them should be done in the same way that we have done for seventh lord in own house seventh lord in own rashi so the planets don't own houses at all along with this what happens in retrogression retrogression i always say three mistakes of my life retrogression is step back you see whenever the government takes a decision when there is a major planet retrograde in that particular scenario because of agitation of people or because of some reason or the other reason government have to step back from that decision this is a result of mundane astrology this same happens in natal horoscope as well whichever planet is retrograde in this case seventh lord is retrograde in that particular scenario you have to step back in relationships you will be forced to not meet your commitments you will be forced to not keep up your promises 
because of some reason or the other. Generally, in these cases, what happens? Person gets in relationship with someone, thinking that it will be a good relationship, or assessing whatever they assess. Shortly to realize that their assessment was wrong, this is a great mistake that they have done, and they repent it. This is a specific result for retrogression that you repent that you have made a wrong assessment, you have taken a bad decision, and you have to step back. Or because of circumstances and because of situations, you will have to step back. This is the problem with retrograde planet. Also, Parashar tells you, Grahat Purna Falam Daddyu Surya Saptam Ke Sthita. Planets get, give best result, maximum result when they are in 7th to Sun. Any planet in 7th to Sun will be retrograde. Highest level of retrogression the planet will be facing. So basically, it is only the retrograde condition where the person completely enjoys all the good results of the seventh house. So multiple relationships they will enjoy. Good spouse, beautiful spouse, a spouse coming from good financial family background, etc. They will enjoy. Along with this, all other results of seventh house travels. So they will enjoy lavish travels, competition. They will enjoy healthy competitions and winning over enemies. So complete result of happiness from beautiful spouse to spouse coming from good background to a good sexual life, everything they will be enjoying. But the tendency is bad and there will be multiple relationships. Right? This is a bad part with retrograde seventh law. Other than that, there is not much an issue. And also the realization of mistake is also the fact. That happens when the seventh lord is retrograde. So I hope this video hel have helped you understand your seventh lord in a better way if they are in a special condition. Thank you for watching.